why protesters are fighting against the city's eviction notice right now. Some protesters are holding a rally on the green, while others are taking the matter to court. We have team coverage this noon, and we start with the rallying cry from protesters home away from home for the past five months. News 8's Jeff Vallon on the green, live with the latest. Jeff. Yes, well, uh, it's a beautiful day out here, and that might be helping the crowd size here, but uh, 9 o'clock this morning, a protest had been planned, and it really didn't turn out to be much of a protest at all. In fact, one occupier told me that they were just relaxing and waiting for word from a judge in Bridgeport. We have veterans, we have college students, we have the, you know, the average working class man such as myself. What they don't have a lot of, it appears, is time. If the city of New Haven gets its way, after five months occupying the green, protesters will be evicted, leaving but a few exit strategies. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're going to try to hold our ground. Um, some people are willing to get arrested for it. Uh, I'm definitely open for civil disobedience. Um, it's pretty clear from the start that uh, the occupation was very successful because it um, you know, used uh, civil disobedience, many other tactics similar to Gandhi, to Martin Luther King. Others are preoccupied by their priorities. Well, for me, um, I just think as, as a parent right now, um, you know, I have two kids and, you know, um, for me, it's just not feasible. In like fashion, their concern varies about losing their oh so iconic encampment. Oh, I think it's very important. It's a huge symbolism, huge, you know, because otherwise you don't see it. What the judge does or what this occupation does is not completely reflective of, you know, the entire movement as a whole and what direction we're going to take. And so regardless, I'm not sure I really care. But the overriding sentiment is what has started can't be stopped. No way. No way you cannot evict an idea. You cannot. Now, even if they have to fold up these tents, the occupiers tell me that they are vowing not to fold up the tent on their movement, although no two gave me a unified answer about what comes next. I do want to tell you that at least unofficially and very unofficially, we've been hearing some word going around here that there has been a two-week injunction, but we'll leave that up to Allie Reed to confirm or uh, perhaps not. Right now, we're live at the Green in New Haven. Jeff Ballin, News 8.